What's up guys, it's Rob here and today we're going to be talking about Snowflake stock, ticker symbol SNOW, because this stock just crashed massively. It actually just made all time lows. It's never been as low as it was in the after hours yesterday. $184.02 is the low that it hit. And if you look over the past all time for this stock, the lowest it's been until then is $184.71. So we just made all time lows with this stock on not news that's actually that bad, right? It's not the best news to hear, but it's not actually the worst either. So let's take a look at what caused this stock to crash and where it might be heading in the future, okay? Snowflake plunges on projection for slowing revenue growth. This is the biggest drop in the company's history. It's never dropped by this much. And get, as executives said that improvements to the company's data storage and analysis products will let customers get the same results by spending less, which will hurt revenue in the short term, but attract more clients in the future. So this company was actually hurt by uh, making their products more efficient. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, but we're going to talk about the actual reason why this thing plummeted first. And it is because product sales will increase by as much as 67% to 1.9 billion in the current year. That is the projection. And you're hearing that and you're wondering, why are they, uh, why is everyone selling this stock hand over fist when projections are for 67% growth year over year? And it's actually because this will represent a significant decline in the growth that Snow has had in the past. And if you look right here, the revenue growth over the past several quarters for the year over year data is uh, actually typically always over 100%. It's uh, the lowest that we got in the past was 104% uh, for the past couple of quarters. So this will be a somewhat significant drop in revenue growth year over year down to around here on the chart. So it is an unfortunate drop. It's not something that you want to see, but there is an understandable reason for it, okay? Snowflake earns revenue when customers store data and run queries on its platform, which is different from other software vendors that charge a monthly subscription cost. So Snowflake is a pay to use and it charges you based off of how much you use their service. So and that caused some early users uh, to get much bigger bills than what they would have anticipated because they're looking at maybe comparative softwares that just charge a subscription cost. And if they use this product a whole lot, then they're paying Snowflake a whole lot more than they would just to pay a subscription fee. Snowflake has thus worked to improve the efficiency of its platform to help reduce the costs for customers, which in turn reduces the revenue that they get. And uh, those product enhancements, those, those efficiencies that they've developed are expected to result in $97 million less of revenue that they're going to be getting in the year ahead. So it is uh, kind of a double-edged sword, right? They're getting less revenue from these customers, but they are also building up more loyalty in the customers, right? They're not trying to gouge the customers until the customers leave for someone else who's just charging a subscription. And uh, in addition, the executives also mentioned that Snowflake may be getting hurt by rising competition in the area. But all in all, they're still a, uh, a rapidly growing growth stock. And you can see 67% growth year over year is nothing to laugh at, right? That's still absolutely massive. Uh, for pretty much any company. And they have actually gotten just uh, just earlier yesterday to all time lows. So uh, they are, in my opinion, looking like a fairly cheap deal for what they are. Now, will I be jumping into them? Probably not. We're going to talk about why I won't be jumping into them in a little bit. But first, we'll talk about what happened when they did drop, all right? They hit these all time lows and actually caught themselves at the support level they had formed almost a year ago at $184. You can see we drew this support line right here and they actually hit that line perfectly. Now we drew this in retrospect, right? We drew this uh, retrospectively, but if I was more involved in snow until this point, then we could have drawn it in advance and potentially realized there might be a little bounce there. And uh, there was some significant upside. If anyone was to have taken that trade and bought in at $184, the, the uh, support level for snow, the all time low as well, there was uh, at least 20% upside, 25% at the peaks of earlier this morning, and likely more in the future. While I think that Snow will probably go up in price, it's not one that I am too interested in for a couple of reasons. You can see uh, that the price to sales ratio right here is actually at least most recently sitting at 79. Now that's the old data that we've got. New data will be coming in at some point during the course of this year as these projections come uh, come to be, right? If they're accurate with these projections, 67% growth, uh, they'll probably be making a little bit uh, of potentially a worse price to sales ratio, right? This number could get even higher, which is not what we want. And that's assuming the stock price goes up as well, okay? So if Snow does recover, then I'm assuming that the price to sales ratio might be looking not quite as good. 79 is already quite high. And if they are going to start losing some revenue from these efficiencies, then it's just not a stock that I want to be involved with at the moment. Also, uh, it's not the most hype worthy stock. It's a software company that engages in data processing. 
uh, in the cloud, which doesn't actually sound that exciting to a lot of investors. While this is a very fast growing company, it's more fundamentally driven. And oftentimes you can see slightly less upside uh, with those kinds of stocks, at least in the short term, which is what I tend to be more interested in. While I would not be selling snow if I uh, had been holding before this big plunge, because I do think it's more likely to rise, there are other plays that I think are more likely to rise uh, more than snow is potentially, right? There have been a lot of growth stocks similar to snow that have been hurt massively. And uh, there are growth stocks that aren't uh, actually slowing their revenue growth, right? There are a lot of growth stocks out there. And uh, snow's an interesting one. It's not one that I'm personally going to be engaging in uh, buying, but that I wouldn't shy away from if it did get uh, a whole bunch cheaper, I would maybe consider, right? If it did actually uh, get below these uh, all-time lows that it just hit earlier yesterday, I might consider buying some. Probably not going to make the move on that, though. I don't think it'll probably get down there. It seems a little unlikely considering how much uh, interest it's getting as it has crashed on Google Trends. It's uh, really blown all of its previous search rankings out of the water. People are starting to search for this thing like there's no tomorrow. On stock twits, it's made its way up to the number five most active and the number two top trending stock. On Reddit, it is the number two top trending stock as well with a, a ton of mentions and upvotes just in the past couple of hours. And that's probably going to grow over the past while. But notably, they still have a $69 billion market cap. And uh, it's still a little expensive, in my opinion. You know, they haven't quite gotten to the point where they're earning uh, actual profit yet. They, they still have a, a loss every quarter, which uh, I think, you know, eventually, maybe they will, they will probably conquer that at some point. They are a fast-growing company. And if they continue to grow their revenues, then they could certainly become a profitable company. And at that point, maybe I'd be a little bit more interested in buying them. But right now, they seem a little bit rich, right? Even at these values, they're a little bit rich compared to some of the other deals that we've seen out there. Some of the other deals, uh, some of the other stocks out there have really been decimated over the past couple of months. So we'll see uh, what happens with Snowflake. I would expect they would probably uh, not make new lows from what they've done yesterday. I don't think they'll be breaking through 184 anytime soon. But those are just my thoughts on Snow. Obviously, anything could happen in the stock market if they get more bad news then, uh, then they could move lower. But I would uh, I would probably place my money if I was on it moving higher. But that's just my opinion, not financial advice. That's just what I think about the stock. So if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.